Do you remember how toys used to be? Not really. Well, now's your big chance because oh, here's an original. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So apparently they made Star Wars toys way back in the day. They did. For the original Star Wars. Yeah. Can you believe that? No. Yeah, they yeah. did. They were making toys way back then. Were you around then? Um, sort of. I was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I was a little bit. Well, a little Does bit. Does that, yeah. I was there. Does that work? For all of it. Oh, whatever. Yeah. You're a liar. Yeah. Yeah, I saw them on no, VHS. I was in the so. same era that they were released and stuff. Oh, wow. What do you want, a medal? Yeah. Like Can I get chew, a medal? Like Chewie didn't get Didn't get a medal? <laughs> yeah. I'm not still bitter about that. <laughs> oh. This is an X-Wing. This is an X-Wing. This X-Wing came out way back in 1982. Two. 1982. Wow. Uh, this is from Kenner's Micro Collection. Okay. This was something that they launched in 1982. They put a lot of effort into it because mm -hmm. they thought this was going to be the next big thing. They've already had a lot of success with the three and three quarter inch figures. Yeah. Um, so they thought, let's do this. It'll be smaller scale so you can do more vehicles. And we'll have a little die-cast figure, rather than an articulated plastic one. As with most X-Wings, you'd expect a few things, like uh, landing gear, which does retract. Mm -hmm. So now you can fly around. Uh, and of course you do have the S-foils splitting into a tack position like that. So you just open those yep. with you your just, hands? Just literally use them. Yeah. Uh, use the, the engines or something like that. Right. Um, and you know, you're good to go. Because on the other ones you would press down the R2. Yeah. Yeah, but no, this R2 it's, is it's just... It's just part of the moulding there, so yeah. it is all very manual, but you know, as I say, it's a, it's a much smaller sort of scale and you can zoom around the room a lot easier. And you do have an opening cockpit. Yeah, well you expect which that. you can get your little metal Luke Skywalker out. Okay, so he's just in a position like that. He can kind of stand or kind of sit in there. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in this sort of, I really need to go to the bathroom sort of position <laughs> to try to stand him up. He's meant to be, you know, sitting in his X-Wing. Um, but he is die cast. Yeah, um, he's the only part of this thing that is die cast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, he, he looks kind of cool. Um, you know, there's not a huge amount of sculpting or anything like that on there, but there's some interesting paint work done on it in such a small scale for that time. It almost looks hand painted. A little bit, yeah. Um, so on the ship itself as well, I notice you've got the cannons here are made of a kind of plastic, aren't they? So they end up warping over time a little bit. A little bit. I mean, it is nice that they are their own separate thing, so they're black uh, rather than the rest of the, the wing there. Yeah. Which is, you know, that's okay, that's not a problem. Also, we've got some stickers on here. Did you yeah. put these on when you first got them, or were they... Yeah, yeah. yeah that these, was, that's always quite the, cool. Back in the day, you put the stickers on yourself. Yeah, like G.I. Joe toys and, and stuff And that was well. cool. This one actually had a unique feature in terms of you had an additional set of stickers to be able to put battle damage on there. Yeah, I can see that. So that's what this, these black markings yeah. are here. Yeah, yeah. So some of them, I really regret having put them on there because I don't like battle damage. I like it looking nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I guess when you pick your stickers... You've got to stick you, with that. Yes, stuck with your stickers. Yeah, yeah, stuck with your stickers. Help! I think I'm melting. This is all your fault. So, of course, there is one major action feature with this vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, and you might have noticed that there is sort of an extra prong coming out of the back of the X-Wing. Yeah, and that shouldn't really be there. Not really. It, it's not movie accurate or anything like that. <laughs> the whole point is that you're supposed to fly him along, and when he comes in for a landing, you push down on the button at the back, and it crashes all together. Oh. So you end up with a kind of smashed up the cockpit and it all just goes bash up like that. Right, they're not fully separated. No, they're all connected by a plastic cord which goes through the middle of it. Oh so the whole God. idea is that when you press the, uh, <laughs> the section in, yeah. it releases some slack on there. And so you can also reassemble it exactly the same way. And boom, you've got your X-Wing good to fly again. It's cool. I like it. It's got action features. It's a nice scale. It looks pretty good and it's it's lasted pretty well over 30 years. It has. And something it's, years. it's flown a few missions in that time, I can tell you. So <laughs> it's, it's survived pretty well for the amount of work that it's had to do. Yeah. I like playing with toys. So that's an original X-Wing, well, sort of original, original. It's, it's a vintage. A vintage, I like that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. From the Micro Collection mm -hmm. by Kenner. Yep. Very cool toy. 
Uh, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for weekly videos. We are out of here for now. Yes, but we will be back possibly with improved articulation and less yellowed plastic. But, you know, we keep going out in the sun, so... Thank you.